Hello. Um, several people have asked me how you make um, image borders for cam twist, which would be the same way that you would make them for any cam or anything else. And I did make a video on setting an image with a transparent area. Um, but I thought of another way that you could make them on the fly without having to edit an image and just taking any image and making it a border. Um, if you can, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see um, what I'm talking about, okay? So just one second. Okay, so you see my screen here, and here's my preview window for a cam twist. Um, this is one that I used this morning. Um, actually, it's not, that was when I was doing something else. Here's the one I used this morning, and it was just a Spider-Man one, and I had some Spider-Man PNG or Spider-Man files that I could use as like stickers, and I, every time Spider-Man came up, you know, they did good. Oh, here's another Spider-Man sticker. The kid loved it. <laughs> I don't care about Spider-Man, but my student does. So I thought, last night I thought, oh, how can I do that? And I did this in less than one minute. Okay, so you can create this even between classes if you had to. So let me show you how I built that. I'm going to clear the effects. Um, and I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to add an image overlay. And I am going to grab any JPEG file that I have, um, let me find one, here's one that I have, and I'm going to make it big and scale it, and then I'm going to come and add a picture in picture, um, my webcam, there we go, I am going to come in here and I'm going to crop it so I look like I want to look, okay, uh, there we go, and I'm going to scale it and make it as big and center it is where I need to center it at. And then I'm going to put a border around this because I think what I'm looking at is too plain. So I'm going to get a border color and probably a hot pink or um, let me put the border width so I can see it. You can make that border width whatever you want it to be. And voila, you have a border with no effort. Now you can dress it up and do another image overlay, um, another image overlay, and then put in things like your name graphic that you may have, or um, I'll add mine real quick. Uh, here's mine, move it down. So it looks like I've actually spent time on this border and I did not. Uh, there you go. You could add another image or overlay and dress it up with little objects uh, from that you have, little pictures that you have already on your thing, um, your files, which it could be emojis. It could be, here's one. Uh, there you go. And collect your emojis around the screen. Scale that puppy down. And just put in several emojis going across the top of the screen or several different dinos or several different princesses or several different whatever. And voila, you have built a new classroom in less than a minute. Okay. Just hope this helps. Don't know. Uh, but here you go. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good day.